I want to tell a story about Laura Linney. She's my best friend. She doesn't know that yet, but she really is. I met her a few times. I love you so much. I've only met her a few times, but I'm seriously in love with her. And I want to just tell you a quick story. As you know, in 2002, she was nominated for her brilliant performance in The Crucible, which I saw, and I marveled at her <laughs> incredible. I've always marveled at her career, but I marveled at this performance. And if anybody's ever opened a show in the spring, you know that from about January 2nd to like July 7th, your life is fucking hell. It's crazy. You are like in rehearsals, and then you're working on it, and then you're in tech, and then you're in previews, and then you're changing things, and then you open in this big fireworks party, an opening night party, and, and then the people, and then there's award season, and then you have to go to press, and all this stuff. And at some point in the midst of this, in 2002, Laura Linney looked up and said, why are we not having a quiet moment together? And Laura Linney, with her grace that she has and had at that time, said to either, I don't know, the president of I don't know, Dionysus or something. She said, somebody needs to have a moment for the people who are being recognized and the Tony nominees to sit together with no press and no agents and no anything and no significant others. Why can't we all just sit together and have a Caesar salad? <laughs> just a moment together. And that was Laura Linney's idea. And I learned all this at the urinal in the bathroom at the Rainbow Room <laughs> in 2017 from my friend Andrew who was standing next to me at his own urinal. And he said, do you know why we're here? And I was like, yeah, it's exciting, right? And he goes, no, do you know why we're here? It's because of Laura Linney. And I went, what? And he told me that whole story. And I went back to my table because Eva Noblezada and I were sitting, where is Eva? We were sitting next to Laura Linney in her emerald green pantsuit and her camel cashmere coat. She kind of like floated off the ground. And I was like, hey, Laura. And I said, is this true? And she, with her dimpled smile, yes. And then before she could explain it to me, Kelly O'Hara stood up and was like, we want to start the afternoon's proceedings. But before I begin, Kelly O'Hara said, I want to tell you all why we're here. It's because of Laura Linney. <laughs> and then she exploded into glitter. No. <laughs> and I just thought, how incredible that amidst all of this magic, this incredible life that we all get to live in the theater, that we are all so proud to be a part of this community at this insane time when new things are starting and people are trying so hard to make amazing theater that she thought, let's just look each other in the eye quietly and have a quiet moment where we can actually just connect and say thank you and wow, look at what you did. So for you and for teaching us that, this is for you. <laughs> Just the way you planned It's funny But the bells don't ring It's a quiet thing When you hold the world In your trembling hand You'd think you'd hear A choir But it's a quiet <laughs> There are no exploding fireworks Where's the roaring of the crowd? Maybe it's this strange new atmosphere Way up here among the Laurel Inny clouds But I don't hear the drums I don't hear the bands The sounds I'm told Such moments bring Happiness comes in on tiptoe Well, what do you know? It's a quiet thing It's a Quiet thing. 
Feel it right now. Happiness comes in on tiptoe. Well, what do you know? It's just this quiet thing. It's such a very 